So what we're going to do in this video is try to figure out what 312 times 23 is. And we're going to do it two different ways simultaneously to realize that they're really just doing the same thing. So the first way that we're going to do it, I would call that the standard way. Some people would call it the standard algorithm. So let's do it here. 312 times 23. So that's what we're going to do here on the left. And then here on the right, we're going to do what's known as partial products. And actually, we're going to do a few partial products even in the standard way. But over here, let me just write it 312 times 23. Now, either technique, what we're going to think about is breaking up these numbers and multiplying each of the components times each other. So in the standard algorithm or the standard way, you start with the ones place over here. And you could first multiply it times the one place above. So 3 times 2 is 6. Then you can multiply 3 times this 1. It's really 3 times 10. So you get 30. And then you get 3, and then you can multiply 3 times this 300, which would be 900. So 3 times 312 is 936. Now in the partial products world, we just break that up. First we say, what is 3 times 2? Well, that is going to be 6. What is 3 times 10? Well, that is going to be 30. And what is 3 times 300? Well, that is going to be 9, 9, 100. So notice, here I just added up the 930 and 6 all together to get 936 when I'm doing it the standard way. And with the partial products, I've just kept them separate. 3 times 2, 3 times 10, 3 times 300. Now, if we do it the standard way, we would go to the tens place on this bottom number, this 20. Now, since we're dealing with the tens place, that's why we put this zero here while we're doing this standard way of doing it. And we say, OK, what's 2 times 2? We would get 4. Now notice, when I write it down, it's actually 40. And that makes sense, because I really did 20 times 2, which is 40. Then I could say, what is 2 times 1? Well, that is just 2. But notice, this 2 is in the hundreds place. And that makes sense, because 20 times 10 is 200. And then last but not least, if I multiply the 20 times the 30, I could say that that is going to be 6,000. You might just say 2 times 3, but it's really 20 times 30, which is why the 6 is in the thousands place. Now, if I were to do it in the, with the partial products technique, I would say 20 times 2 is 40. I would say 20 times 10 is 200. And I would say 20 times 3 is 6,000. So once again, I've just broken it all up. I have more partial products. While here, I only have two partial products is one way to think about it. But then, in either case, I just want to add up all the partial products. On the standard technique, 6 plus 0 is 6, 3 plus 4 is 7, 9 plus 2 is 11. I regroup one of those ones. 1 plus 7 is 6. I get 7,176. Here I do the same thing. Look at the ones place. I got a little bit uneven, so I'm going to make these lines to just make sure I add up the right places. So I get a 6 here. 6 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus a bunch of zeros. Then I have 3 plus 4. I get a 7 here. Then I have 9 plus 2. I have a 1. Regroup a 1. 1 plus 6 is 7. 7,176 in either way. In the partial products, I guess it's the pure partial products, I break up everything. I get six different partial products here. While in the standard algorithm or the standard technique, I essentially take the partial products of 3 times 312 and 20 times 312. So I only have two partial products. But hopefully you see that these are very similar techniques.